Hello YouTube! Welcome to another Roof Pattern Canoe video. Today is the day of truth, because I want to test if my canoe works or not. For that I meet Taro from the YouTube channel Taro Movies and we plan to make a 16 km canoe trip with my low budget canoe on this rear right behind me. To be honest, I'm really excited and also a little bit nervous, because until now I could only test if my canoe is watertight or not. I made this in the fish pond of my neighbor, which is 2 meters longer than my canoe, but I have no idea about the driving properties of my canoe. I have thousand questions on which I hope to find an answer today. For example, is the canoe driving straight enough, or do I need a keel under, under the floor? Or is the canoe wide enough? Is it stable enough in the water that I can keep the balance? Or am I able to control the canoe with this self-made pedal? I have absolutely zero experience with the technique of such a single blade pedal. Or is my seat working? <laughs> or is my canoe cart working? Because at the end of this trip we have to walk about one kilometer to our car. So uh, you see straight from the fish pond to the river is a big challenge for me. I also hope that we don't have too much wind and, uh, or waves because the last four kilometers we are in a lake. But uh, of course we wear life jackets and Tao is the best uh, coach I can imagine. So um, that calms me. So we will start our journey 100 meters away from here in this direction and uh, the first 12 kilometers we are pedaling along the border between Switzerland and Austria, this river. Six kilometers we will have a current like this. And there are also some spots where the water is only a few centimeters deep. So I hope we find the right way there. The second six kilometers the current decreases uh, uh, towards zero. And uh, the last four kilometers we are in the lake of Constance. And there I hope we find the entrance to the harbor. I don't know if we make breaks or not, the only thing I know is at the end of the day we have to be at this harbor because our cars are parked there, so no, no possibility for, for a shortcut. Now I'm waiting for Taro, as soon as he's here we set up the boats and we start. And I'm very excited if Felix is drowning or not, <laughs> we will see, <laughs> hope not. <laughs> Schön langsam, ja. Verschlossen. Jetzt sieht sie sticht. Der kleine Springboden. <lacht> Now, it's two days later, I'm back at the river, we made our canoe trip and I would like to give you a short feedback how my canoe performed. The concept of this video was to build a wooden canoe for less than 150 bucks material cost. The aim was to simplify the design that much that everyone who is not totally talent-free in manual work can do this canoe with just some common tools. It's crystal clear that the performance of this canoe is not as well as from a professional canoe. First of all, I want to tell you that the whole canoe project was a big success for me. I had so much fun during the construction phase and also after pedaling on the water. This was just amazing. And a lot of your hints, tips and comments was really helpful. Thanks a lot for that. The first thing I want to tell you concerns the tipping stability. Um, to be honest, I was really 
really happy with the tipping stability of my boat. But you have to know that the current of this river is, is really not strong. And uh, at the lake we didn't have any waves and we had almost no wind. So um, under perfect conditions I would say the tipping stability is good enough. But I can imagine that as soon you have big waves, strong current or wind, that can be very different. Another point is that my boat has only 60 centimeters at the widest point. Uh, and that's for sure a bit too less for a super stable boat. But uh, the advantage was I didn't have any problems to keep the speed from Taro's boat. But uh, if I would build a canoe again, I would make it a little bit wider, maybe 70 centimeters. The next point I want to give you feedback is the pedal technique. So I started with absolutely zero experience for the pedal technique with these single blade pedals. The problem was, after every stroke I lost speed when I tried to align the boat to the current. I need a lot more practice and uh, yeah, maybe I learn it. But uh, a subscriber wrote me a comment and he told me it's absolutely not forbidden to, to use a double blade pedal for such a canoe. Especially for my canoe because it's very narrow. And um, maybe I try out to improvise a seat and then I try to pedal with a double blade pedal. So we will see. Next feedback point concerning the seat. Uh, after the last video, as the people saw my bicycle saddle in the boat, so they wrote me, Felix, forget it, this will never work. And I was not sure, because I thought I'm always kneeing when I'm pedaling, and so I don't have my whole weight on the seat. And these saddles has proven themselves a billion times. So I wanted to make my own experience with this bicycle saddle. The first half hour was super comfortable and I had a good feeling. But uh, after I noticed that my feet were falling asleep. And uh, the problem is, on the bicycle saddle you can't change the position. So the only option I had was take away the bicycle saddle, sitting on the floor and pedaling like this. This was okay for my feet, this was okay for my back. But this position is not ideal for pedaling with a single blade pedal. So I struggled the whole day with my sitting position and every hour I had to change. Um, so the seat is for sure something I have to improve. So the next feedback points are the driving straight property and the weight. And yes, uh, the boat has about 40 kilograms and that is a lot and it's not fun to carry the boat alone. But in the water I didn't feel this weight. So this is probably a point where I don't have a good comparison value, but uh, I didn't feel the, I didn't feel the weight, and uh, I was happy with the boat was driving straight. Uh, I didn't have the impression that I make a lot of curves. Um, probably I have to add a keel, and then I have the comparison with keel and without keel. We will see. Probably I make this, but the best was. Uh, the boat was 100% waterproof. <laughs> Taro was also pedaling with my canoe and I'm very curious about his feedback. His feedback is for sure more important than my thoughts. Now I'm back in my office and of course I became the opportunity to try the canoe of Felix. At the beginning it was a little wobbly because of the narrow construction and the flat bottom, but I was also surprised how easy I could compensate this by concentration and keeping a low center of body gravity. It took also a little more effort to start and get up to a basic speed because of the weight of the canoe but then it floated very, very well. So when I was back in my canoe doing some video takes and trying to catch up with Felix, I had to paddle a lot because of his speed. Also, to steer and maneuver the canoe looked much better than expected. So in my opinion, a project like this, for that money and with that effort, 
is absolutely worth it and I'm happy that I was a part of it. That's it for today. We was about five hours on the water. On the water, not underwater. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I must say, uh, it worked a lot better than expected. Of course, there's still a, a space for improvement, but uh, for the first time, I'm super, super happy. Dar, thanks a lot for this wonderful day together with you. You're welcome. It was a, a great adventure. <laughs> I didn't expect either that the uh, canoe worked that well. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah. And see you next Friday. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> bye bye.